I married when I was 20 years of age. And uh, I had, uh, actually I come to Australia before I get married, I get to Australia with eight brothers, six brothers and two sisters. Because we had, we lost my mum and father in, uh, in the war. And I was only that time, 18 years of age. And um, I had the first girl, she's now, she's uh, 37 years of age. I got the second boy, he was Richard. He's after two years. Then I got Mustafa. They said the, the, maybe the boy would be not leave. So they're helping, they give him some medicine. Once they give him that medicine, they affect his body. To survive, you have to take that medicine. They tell us after four months, we don't know what can be happening, where can I be damaged, can be damaged somewhere in his body. So when I was born, the, the doctors gave my parents uh, two alternatives that so I would be able to walk, but um, intellectually my mind wouldn't function, uh, wouldn't be able to tell right from wrong, uh, couldn't make my own decisions, couldn't think, talk, you know, everything that um, we do <laughs> to function. It all starts up here. You know, if, if you don't believe it, it's not gonna happen. No matter, like, no matter how much you try something, if you really don't wanna do it and you don't believe it's gonna work, it's not gonna work. I feel that a lot of people that don't know me think I'm different because of my wheelchair, my disability. But I feel I'm different because of my mentality. So when I look at a different human being, I look at us as equals. I don't look at us as being different. I have a bigger vision. For me, that was just a goal that I wanted to take off. Once I achieved it, I wanted to achieve a lot uh, bigger and better things. And that's the reason why um, I came up with Stay True, Be You, my brand, and uh, my motto, Be Yourself, Marry Yourself, Believe in Yourself. Uh, I feel that I can help uh, millions of people worldwide. There's too many people instructing others of how they should be, or what they should be like, or who they should be like. Well, I'm like, no, you should be you. Because when you be yourself, you know, that's, that's when you're gonna excel in life. And I feel that uh, there's too many people following celebrities out there, uh, you know, they are doing the wrong thing, honestly. All they care about is fame and money. But when you have fame, you have a responsibility. And I feel like I already have a responsibility. You know, I'm able to motivate and inspire people. And hopefully with my message, I can do a lot more than that. I wish nothing but the best for Mosti because over the six years that I've known him, he's just made me a better person and, and the way that he's been able to, uh, to, to spread his positivity and his wisdom onto myself and others that know him, it's, it's a blessing and um, for that I'm forever grateful. He's determined one day, hopefully one day, he will stand up by himself. He will. That's his goal and I know he'll do it. Probably everyone should know that he cares, he really cares from his heart. He's got a heart of gold. I got five kids, but he's the one uh, really special for me. He's very special. 
Musti is one of the nicest and most genuine people I know. He's always there to support you when, uh, you know, when you're going through some tough times. That name, Stay True To Be You, it is what, it's what Musti is. To be honest with you. That's him. In future time, I think he's very, very popular, can I be? Because he's got something in his mind very big. He's looking for big things. Not for the money. He's looking for big things to be helping people. Because he was in his situation, he said, I can help. When I help get help myself, I can help people. He's a strong boy. He always, he's saying, I'm not going to give up. He's going to keep going. And I'm very proud of him. That's all I'm going to say. Very, very proud. I think it's all exciting times for Musti and um, it, it's just going to be interesting to see what he achieves in, in the next few years. Life is a really difficult exam, but we all have a different paper. So there's no point copying other people if we all have a different exam paper. You have to do what works for you, you know, and be yourself. And for me, being yourself and bearing yourself and believing yourself is the way to succeed in life and achieve whatever you put your mind to. Amen.